Dogs are very possessive about their owner, family person, all the things around. Most dogs love to play with the owner and family members and that is why they are very engaged with them in an emotional manner. Dogs love to do many things and in these things barking is the most common factor. Dog barking has many reasons and this includes fear, anger, love and affection. Barking too much is a habit of dogs and sometimes there is no reason and sometimes there would be a very valid reason behind it. There are many dog breeds whose sound of barking is too loud as compared to others. From Chihuahuas to Rottweilers, we spell out the dogs that bark the most and what you can do to keep them quiet. The Chihuahua barks the most. It barks to communicate with the world. If it barks occasionally, then your pet is perfectly alright. If your dog's barking constantly, then there is a bit of a problem and it may be that your pet is not socialized. Chihuahua is a small and cute kind of a pet which wants more attraction and love from human beings. The other reason includes fear, attention, dominance and aggression too. Your dog barks because it wants your attention. Instead of ignoring the barks, try to figure out what your pet is trying to tell you. Most of these conditions can be fixed by spending more productive time together. Chihuahua is the most aggressive dog breed as compared to other pets. The Cane Terrier is a furry and small dog breed. It is active and responsive to its owner. This breed can be a good house pet as long as it is given daily physical and mental exercise in a safe area. It enjoys playing with children and is tough enough to withstand some rough housing. It can be aggressive with other dogs and chases small animals. It loves to sniff, explore and hunt. The German Shepherd's barking is a common trait of all dogs under this breed. This breed is a natural watcher and a protector and that is why some dog trainers refer to these breeds as born barking. German Shepherd is one of the most energetic dog breeds which needs total physical exercise as to maintain its energy. This breed is highly energetic and that is why it is not used to lazing around the house the entire day. To stop excessive barking, you should increase the duration of his socialization, exercise and bonding activities with family members. The miniature schnauzers are small dogs with big attitudes. Alert and lively, they have a stubborn streak. Barking to alert their owners of vermin or intruders is part of their job. Today's miniature schnauzers sometimes proudly display their heritage as watchdogs barking loudly and often to the frustration of owners and neighbours. Training not to bark excessively is easiest if you start when your dog is very young before the behaviour becomes entrenched. But a committed, loving owner can successfully train even a long-time older barker to become a quieter, more obedient companion. Scottish Terriers tend to bark at everything from strangers and other dogs to leaves falling and cars driving by. While it's great to have a watchdog at times for your neighbour's sake, train your Scotty to bark only when necessary. There are some commands for which you can teach your dog. The Rottweiler might be a majestic dog, but dog owners know that Rottweiler's barking can be a painful problem. Rottweilers are chosen as hunting dogs, constantly moving around and being with the owners. It is part of a Rottweiler's inherent nature to do so. Nevertheless, the same inherent nature may result in a Rottweiler barking incessantly and often without reason. Several kinds of barks exist and there could be several basic reasons for them. Among the most common types of barking in a Rottweiler are the alarm and anxious barks. The West Highland White Terrier is a game and hardy little terrier that is easy to train. It is fairly friendly towards strangers and gets along well with children. These dogs are lively and extremely self-assured towards other dogs but will not pick fights if their owners know how to display proper leadership. They may chase a cat for fun and need to be corrected if they do attempt this. Despite their size, they make a very good watchdog. The Westie likes to dig and bark. 